Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Flow and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix. The Rainbow Six Siege is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, low FPS drop, stuck overload in screen and even black screen issue and how you can fix this up. So let's dive into this. The first one is all about, you can start with a simple restart on your PC. For this we just need to go over here in the psych. Click on the start icon, go to this icon and do a simple restart. Once restart is done, try launching the game and see whether the issue is solved or not. Restart is just a simple fix which you can try out. If it is not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about we need to try with the first one that is we have to verify integrity of game file. This is actually a fix for many of these kind of issues. For this just go to the game, right click and go to properties. Go to install it file, click on verify integrity of game file. So it is going to take a little bit of time because uh, you know uh, the game is around 55.17 GB. So the, you have to wait this to reach 100%. This will cross check every single files of a game and they will be letting you know if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be completely fixed by using this particular one. So once you're done with this, you can just launch the game afterwards, you'll be getting the play button and see whether the issue is solved or not. If this is not working, we have to move to the next one. Let this get completed. I'll move to the next one. Next one is, for most of the users, they launch the game from Steam. That might be sometimes an issue. So we have to try launching the game from the installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, try launching the game from the installation folder. For this, we just need to go over here in the game. Right click and go to properties, go for install it file and just click on the browse. That will redirect you to this particular folder and if you check at the top that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, steam, steam apps, common, Tom Clancy's rainbow 6 siege is this particular folder. So if you scroll down and you can see that if you keep on scrolling, you will be able to find the application of the game that is keep scrolling a little bit more. So right now, as you can see, this is Rainbow Six. So this is the application. So instead of launching the game from Steam, try launching the game from the installation folder. And it worked for many users, so you can try this out as well. Next one, apart from this, is there are a few more steps which you can try out. So I'll be showing you both the steps, both the steps in the same installation folder. That is, the next step is run the game as an administrator. For this, just right click over here, go to show more options and go to properties, go to compatibility. And you have to click on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for ok. So once you launch the game as an administrator, for many users this won't help them and it helped them to reduce the issue. So you can launch the game as an administrator and that will be working for you guys as well. So even if it's not working you can try with the next step that is you have to run the game in the compatibility mode. For this we just need to go over here right click and go to show more options and we have to go to properties, compatibility. And under the compatibility mode, select run the program in compatibility mode. We can either go for Windows 7 or you can go for apply or you can also go for Windows 8 as well. Try either Windows 7 or Windows 8. Go for apply and go for ok. Once you set this up, we just need to close this and go back. And we have to go back to the Steam and try launch the game. So you can try with these steps and if issue is still persisting, you can try with few more steps. The one among them is you can cross check the date, time, time zone should be correct. For this just go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here we have to go to settings. Now from here we have to go over here and then go to time and language. Go to date and time. So make sure the time and time zone should be turned on. Most people end up in turning this off by default or by accidentally which is causing them the issue. So you have to turn this on as well as you have to turn this on. Now go back. Go to the language and region. Make sure you are on the same geographical area. So if, if, if the location is set in the United States, you have to make sure that you are from the United States. If you are from UK, you can set the region to UK or any other country which from where you are. So set this up and just close this and go back and try launch the game. Next one is nothing but we have to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab together. So click on the play button. At the same moment you are clicking on the play button, you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. And this particular step worked for many of the users in my knowledge, so you can try this out as well. 
Next one is nothing but you have to try with the next one that is we have to delete the saved game file. For this we just need to go over here in the file explorer. We have to go to this PC and we have to go to documents. Now from here and if you find the folder on the game, uh, if you find the folder on Six Siege, Rainbow Six Siege, you have to delete the folder. So you'll be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine just delete it. Close this and go back and try launch the game once again. Next one is nothing but we have to try allow the game to windows security. For this reason we have to go over here in the search, go for control panel. Now from here we have to go to system and security, go for windows defender firewall. Now from here go to allow Napper feature through windows defender firewall. Keep scrolling down, keep on scrolling down and you will be able to find the folder. You will be able to find the game here. So uh, right now as I can check the game is not here. So I have to add it to the game by default. So just click on the change settings. Now go for allow another app, go for browse, have to go to this PC, go to local disk C, program file x86, keep scrolling down, go to steam, go to steam apps, go to common. Now from here I have to go for Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Now I have to select this application and I have to add it, go for add. The game is right now added as you can see Rainbow Six Siege is added and make sure the private and public should be selected. You have to select both private and public. Once you select this one, you have to close this, go back and try launching the game. This did work it for many users or else try the next step. That is all about we need to unplug all the USB devices. So you might be playing the game with the controllers connected. We are playing with any other uh, your uh, USB ports might be filled with many peripheral devices. Remove everything from the USB port, launch the game, once game is successfully launched and if you still wanted to play the game with the controllers just connect it back and try launching the game. This did work it for many users I found this on the reddit. So I don't know how these are related but this did work it so we can try this word as well. Next one is nothing but we have to perform a clean boot. For this we just need to go over here in the search, go for uh, system configuration, go for services, Go for disable all, hide all Microsoft services should be selected. Go for apply and go for ok. Sometimes it might ask you for restart. So if the restart is asking just do the restart and once the restart is done just launch the game. If not we have to try few more steps and that is all about we have to disable the steam overlay. For this just go over here in the game right click and go to properties. Go to install it files not install it files you have to go to the general. And over here as you can see if this is turn it on you have to turn this off. Turn this off, launch the game. If that is not working we have to move to the next turn. That is we have to give commands in the launch option. The first command is dx11. Give the command dx11 in the launch option. Try launching the game. If dx11 is not working try with command dx12 and try launching the game. So try with either dx11 or you can try with the dx12. If both the things are not working you can move to the next step. Next step is nothing but we have to try with closing all the overlay application. For this reason we have to go over here in the start icon right click, go to task manager. Right now as you can see there are many things running in the background. So uh, if you find over here as you can see 41 apps are actually draining, uh, running in the background which is draining the performance of mine. So I have to delete the unwanted things from here. Discord, Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, all these comes under this category which is unnecessary and one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue. Remove everything from here. Once you remove unwanted things from here, go to the Steam and try launching the game. If that's not working, let's try with the next one. That is we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. Go over here in the search, go to graphics settings. Now from here we have to add the game. I have already added the game Jagged Alliance 3 Grand Theft Auto. Even I have added Diablo 4, uh, you know, Dead by Daylight, Call of Duty, Back 4 Blood, Apex Legends, etc. So we have to do the same. So just click on the browse. Now from here go to this PC, go to local disk C, program file x86. Keep scrolling down Steam, you have to go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to find the folder. Now go to the, uh, you know, Tom Clancy's folder. So keep scrolling down. <coughs> Now open this, just select the respective one and go for add. Once it is added, the Tom Clancy is once it's added, what you need to do is we just need to make a few changes. So once the game is successfully added, so we have to find the game. So uh, where is the game? So it's added. Okay, it's uh, okay. Here it is, Rainbow Six. So select this one, go for option. 
by default this will be let windows aside change this to high performance and go for save once set this to high performance you have to close this go back and try launch the game next one is nothing but we have to increase the virtual memory for this reason we have to go over here in the search go for view advanced system settings we have to go for view advanced system settings now click on this one go for advanced go to settings go to advanced go for change make sure this is blank and select the local disk where the game is installed in my case it is c go to custom size give the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so go over here we need a calculator so we need to multiply so 32 gb is the ram so i have to type 32 gb and i have to multiply it with 1024 so 32 gb is my ram so you have to type your ram and multiply with 1024 once after that multiply with 1.5 So this particular value is you have to paste that is 14 and 152 and we have to move to the next one that is 32 GB into 1024 into multiply into 3 that is 98304 so you have to copy this as well and you have to paste it so once you set this up you have to set the values and you have to restart and try to launch the game even after trying with this if it's still not working then we just need to update the windows go over here in the search go to settings So we need to Windows update. Make sure the Windows is up to date. Just update the Windows. After this, if still issues there, we have to update the driver. So I'll be providing link in the description to both Nvidia as well as for the AMD. Nvidia users have to go over here. They have to select every single details over here. Once you go for this, you'll be getting this particular versions, which is released version, latest one. Just download this particular version and start. Please start your PC. If you're on the AMD, just select the respective. configuration over here go for submit and you have to go for windows 11 if you're on uh, if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one install restart is a mandatory and also you can try installing microsoft to shell c++ just go over here i'll be providing link so if you're on x64 so minus x64 so just download this one install and restart once the restart is successfully done just try launch the game Even after trying with this, if it's still not working, try with the last one that we have to uninstall and reinstall the game. So go over here, right click and go to manage uninstall the game, reinstalling it back. But you should not be installing back on the same local disk. You should be changing the position of local disk from C to any other. So I am having only one, so I am going to install it over here. Once you have to change the position of local disk, and most probably these will be helping guys out. And these are the possible workaround which you have to try out when you are having an issue with. Tom Glancy's and he hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye 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 bye